2018 Chevrolet Malibu 2018 Chevrolet Malibu Review Searching for just a roomy and trendy midsize family sedan? Check out the 2018 Chevrolet Malibu. 4 star overall score. The 2018 Chevrolet Malibu shines in the midsize sedan field due to its sharp looks and combination of appealing qualities. It's full of technology and provides a roomy interior. There's also a variety of engine choices, including a hybrid option. Overall, the world thinks it's a solid pick. Since its complete redesign for your 2016 model year, the most up-to-date Chevrolet Malibu is quite competitive inside the midsize sedan category. Some rivals might boast better driving dynamics or higher features to the money, even so the Malibu supplies a solid and trendy all-around package. Chevrolet has loaded although the most basic trim with desirable features, and that means you won't have trouble picking out the features you would like. We also just like the way the Malibu handles, and acceleration in the 2.0-litre turbocharged four-cylinder is surprisingly peppy. The Malibu Hybrid is often a smooth and refined driver, which returns an amazing 45 miles per gallon combined. What's new? There aren't any major changes this season. The only notable addition is usually a new appearance package, the Redline Edition. The Malibu 1 LT with all the convenience and technology package balances content and price. However, we found the 1.5-litre engine underwhelming, preferring the driving connection with the hybrid. The hybrid comes similarly equipped to your 1 LT for under a moderate price premium, therefore it may also be equipped while using convenience and technology package. Trim levels and features. For 2018, the Malibu has four trim levels. The base cell trim is sparsely equipped, so unless you're looking with the least expensive sedan possible, it's safer to step up on the LS or 1LT. Both give a considerable amount of content, although such as the L, they depend on a smaller, slightly underpowered engine. The Premier trim comes almost fully loaded and adds an even more powerful motor. The Malibu can be available in hybrid trim with the exact same features on the LT. The base L trim has a 16-inch steel wheels, keyless entry and ignition, cruise control, air conditioning, a tilt and telescoping tire, OnStar, Bluetooth phone connectivity plus a 6-speaker head unit, but not much else. Notably, a rear-view camera and Bluetooth audio streaming are generally lacking. The minor price hike on the LS trim adds a substantial amount of equipment. A rear view camera, 16 inch aluminum wheels, and also a Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system having a 7 inch touch screen and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility are common notable upgrades. You also get laminated side windows, which reduce noise, and also a 4G LTE hitting the ground with Wi Fi. Upgrading for the 1LT trim gets every body of the LS features, along with 17-inch wheels, heated mirrors, an 8-way power-adjustable driver's seat, rear seat air vents and satellite radio. The 1LT can be also upgraded with several packages. The convenience and technology package adds remote vehicle start, an auto-dimming mirror and wireless charging pad, and yes it upgrades the touchscreen interface to an 8-inch screen with navigation. A leather package can be available, which adds leather upholstery, heated front seats, power front seat lumbar adjustment, and, oddly, a 9-speaker Bose head unit. The driver confidence package adds automatic high beams, back and front parking sensors, and forward collision warning. New for 2018 may be the Redline Edition appearance package, only accessible on the 1LT which adds blacked out 19 inch wheels as well as black and red trim pieces as opposed to chrome. The L, LS, and 1LT are common powered with a turbocharged 1.5 litre 4 cylinder engine, 160 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque, mated to your 6 speed automatic transmission. The Malibu Hybrid relies on a 1.8 litre 4 cylinder engine associated with an electric motor putting together a combined 182 horsepower as well as a noteworthy 277 pound-feet of torque. 
It comes with all the same standard features since the Malibu 1 LT and may be upgraded while using convenience and technology package, the leather package as well as the driver confidence package. Finally, the Premier trim includes all on the 1 LT's features, in addition to the contents with the convenience and technology and leather packages. The engine is upgraded into a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine, 250 horsepower and 260 pounds to feet of torque, and paired that has a 9-speed automatic transmission. Also included are 18-inch wheels, ventilated front seats, driver seat memory settings, a heated controls, dual-zone automatic climate control, and unique exterior styling cues. The Premier is usually upgraded using the Driver Confidence Package plus the Driver Confidence Package 2, including an electronic parking brake, adaptive cruise control, parking assist, plus an automatic forward collision avoidance system. The Premier Sun and Will Package adds a dual pane power sunroof, 19 inch wheels, and upgraded floor mats. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. The S in this particular review use our first drive with the 2016 Chevrolet Malibu Premier, Turbo 2.0 litres in line 4, 8 speed automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the latest Chevrolet Malibu has gotten some revisions, including a new 9 speed automatic transmission for your Premier trim in 2017, as well as the deletion from the 2LT trim level. Our findings remain broadly applicable to this coming year's Chevrolet Malibu. Driving. The current Chevrolet Malibu is often a bold leap forward for this previously disappointing family sedan. Its long distance comfort and capable performance are whatever you expect with the segment, while its sharp handling and available advanced hybrid powertrain are standout elements. Acceleration. The standard 1.5 litre engine feels just adequate. Those who prefer more punch could get the Premier model's 2.0-litre engine. The hybrid's smooth acceleration causes it to become feel more like a power vehicle than other hybrids. Its gas engine is mainly noticeable when excel hard or climbing a hill. Braking Pedal action is smooth and predictable at partying and firms up in panic situations. Our non-hybrid test car stopped from 60 miles per hour in 113 feet. Excellent for the car in this particular class. Confident feeling hybrid brakes are the best from the segment, lacking the uneven pedal feel common to competitors. Steering The steering is close to feedback, and its particular initial turn-in is usually a bit rubbery, though the turning effort is consistent and appropriate just for this type of car. It's responsive enough to instill confidence which enables it to keep up with people who drive exuberantly. Handling Despite its size and non-sporty positioning, the Malibu corners with an increase of athleticism than most family sedans. The all-season tires howl loudly when pushed, even so the car remains composed and predictable. It's confident in evasive maneuvers and also provides some fun with the driver. Drivability The base 6-speed automatic transmission thinks sluggish and is not always smooth with occasional clumsy downshifts and lurches mainly because it rolls into a stop. We like the generally seamless powertrain in the hybrid version, especially at city speeds. Comfort The Malibu's ride is smooth and composed, and it also deals well with rough roads and undulations. Some might additionally describe it firm, but it doesn't make it uncomfortable. Strong air conditioning along which has a quiet interior add on the overall satisfaction. Seat comfort. Firm, supportive front seats with plenty of side bolstering. We could happily have driven longer inside them than our three hour evaluation route. The rear outboard seats are happy for average size adults, however the center seat is best suited to smaller passengers. Ride comfort. Impressive treating choppy. Undulating pavement Remains poised where many others might bound about or transmit sharp impacts Isolates via and pleasantness but not on the driving experience Could be too firm for most Noise and vibration 
engine and wind noises are nicely muted, and also the hybrid sometimes on engine doesn't drone excessively and call care about itself. Road noise might be intrusive on coarse asphalt, though. In total, a bit quieter than average. Climate control. The air conditioning keeps the auto cool with a very hot day, even within the hybrid, whose engine shuts when the auto stops at signals. And we never felt the necessity to constantly fiddle while using system. Ventilated seats are optional. Interior. The Malibu gains advantage from a pleasant, modern and uncluttered dashboard design as well as a simple layout of controls. Passenger room is on par with those of most other cars within the segment, meaning there's loads of it. The Accord's best in segment back seat is simply incrementally better. Ease useful. Excellent climate controls they fit within easy reach with well sized buttons and knobs. The MyLink screen is susceptible to harsh reflections and fingerprint smudges, but high placement causes it to be easy to view and reach. The manual shift button on top from the shifter requires a rethink. Getting in, getting out. Front passengers could possibly get in and out without difficulty thanks to some large opening and relatively tall ride height. Rear passengers of average height or taller have to stoop a little to clear the sloping rear roof line. Driving position. Ample adjustability when equipped with all the 8-way power seat. The seat adjusts far enough down and back for tall drivers. The controls has good telescoping range. The pedals are naturally placed. Roominess. The front seats are usually spacious even for larger occupants. The rear seat is typical for that segment, providing enough head and legroom even for tall adults. The sloping roof line, however, makes that space feel confining. Visibility. As with lots of sedans within the class, the thick roof pillars and high rear deck led obstruct outward visibility. The available beige dash top also causes distracting reflections, we'd get black. A rear view camera is standard on although the base trim. Quality. Acceptable but definitely not a class leader. Hard plastics at the start are at least nicely textured and do not look cheap. Those in back do and therefore are scratchy. Other surfaces are covered in lightly padded cloth or fur leather. Feels sturdy and well put together. Utility. If you could have stuff to hold around, big or small, the Malibu is far through the best family sedan. The trunk is just average, along with the various interior bins usually are not ideal for that smartphones plus the odds and ends many of us carry around right now. Small item storage. For a mid-sized sedan, the Malibu's small item storage is poor. A tiny glove box, merely average center armrest bin, smallish door bins, one size cup holders without grippers along with a media bin too small after only an iPhone 5. Rivals are better, more clever. Cargo space. The Malibu's 15.8 cubic foot trunk is average for your segment, suitable for golf bags and luggage. The much smaller hybrid trunk is simply too narrow for golf bags, and also the batteries refill its aft portion. Still okay for just a hybrid sedan, though, and there is technically a 60-40 split pass-through. Child safety seat accommodation. Four latch anchor points and three upper tether mounts are arranged for everyone all three rear seating positions. Anchor points are simple to find with a flexible flap inside the crook on the seat. Technology. The 2017 Chevrolet Malibu probably have as much available technology each and every car inside segment, with many trims including a MyLink touch screen interface, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, onboard Wi-Fi and the selection of OnStar services. A full gamut of high-tech driver aids can be available. Audio and navigation. The Chevy MyLink touch screen method is much quicker than earlier iterations, and now we appreciate its large virtual buttons and general system layout. We think most users may find it easy to utilize. 
There are 7 and 8 inch MyLink screens available. Smartphone integration. Up to 4 USB ports can be obtained, together with an auxiliary jack and Bluetooth phone and audio, though the bottom L is phone only. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard within the LS and above, they be expected. Driver aids. Blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning systems are unobtrusive. Optional adaptive cruise control brings the car with a full stop, but at lower speeds in slow and go freeway traffic it can make awkwardly abrupt throttle and brake adjustments. Voice control. Standard voice controls are a little stilted and require use of specific phrases, but when you are using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it is possible to push and hold the identical button to go to Siri or Google Voice, each of which are much better at answering natural language requests.